our friend, Executive Director Jason Hirsch of the Nath- National Youth Football and Cheer Association, the NYFCA. Jason, how are you, sir? Excellent. Good morning, Vince. Great to uh, great to be back, my man. Hey, so we had you on last week. We had you and and uh, Michael Nemeth and and uh, Joey Laroque, uh, and you guys basically took over this segment. And it was it was uh, you know it was a lot of information that was exchanged, and it was a lot of good information that we had to hear. But I, we wanted to bring you back this week to to slow it down and to kind of recap what we talked about last week. So let's start with this. What is the NYFCA? It's a new youth uh, tackle league that we're launching here in Arizona. This will be our inaugural season, and Arizona was chosen as the first state in uh, this national launch that we will be rolling out in 2022 across 20 states. Um, The parent company is Gridiron Football. Uh, It's not the same as the Gridiron that's already here in Arizona, but it's an entirely new organization, and NYFCA is the contact division, so that's the tackle division of our football community um, here that we're going to be launching nationally and obviously uh, uh, kicking off Arizona as our first tackle state. Now, and and this isn't just about tackle football. Obviously, as the name implies, you've got cheer available um, and, and, and also flag, right? That's correct. So uh, the cheer component, um, you know, there's a a few national uh, organizations for cheer. What we're looking to do from a cheer component is create our own local tournament that will allow non-competitive and competitive teams to either merge together or compete uh, here in Arizona. And um, we will have an entire non-contact division here in town. Uh, So we have over a dozen uh, flag and seven leagues, and we will be introducing flex football to Arizona uh, as well as part of our uh, non-contact uh, league and sport because this will truly allow an athlete, a family, a coach, a team to stay together as they progress through uh, flag to maybe sevens, and if they have an interest in tackle, it will allow them you know, that opportunity to build those athletes, that team, and, uh, and uh, stay inside the league, start to finish. So when, when we spoke about this, when we started our talks in, in, uh, um, you know, with regard to the partnership here between NYFCA and the Varsity Sports Show, it, one thing that really stood out to me, Jason, is the fact that you talked about um, structure, safety, um, a, a lot of those things, but you also talked about autonomy to, to you know, coaches coach, players play, but but within you know within the structure and safety and, and you you had mentioned that as being a difference maker and what sets you apart in this organization sets sets themselves apart from a lot of other youth organizations out there that just kind of you know take your money and say here go play. Yeah, I'm really glad you said that. Um, you know, first and foremost, uh, player safety is paramount. Um, we are leading you know in with the community, but player safety, coach safety. Um, everyone that attends the games, um, all of the procedures and policies are going to be put in place with years of experience from our staff in Dallas and our staff here in Arizona. That's one of the things that's very different about our organization. Um, We're not just a a couple men or women or a single guy running a league. Um, There's an entire staff to help put this together. Uh, Tackle football is a completely different animal, uh, and it requires – manpower it requires staff to make sure things are organized and coaches have a confidence when they play in our league of predictability reliability and that things will occur as we said and uh we're really happy to introduce that with new audit with our new automation and platform platform that will allow for online scheduling and standing the schedule will be out uh, a week before season you'll know where all your games are and uh, something that we're going to really try to do is take what typically is an analog-driven sport to a digital, uh, uh, a digital age where we'll have digital player IDs and, and player information for certification and registrations all at the fingertips on any mobile device uh, at the time of the game. This is going to be big. 
Jason, this is going to be big, and 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 the the response is is you know overwhelming so far, and it'll continue to be that. Uh, you've got both weighted and unweighted boys and girls, uh, and uh, and it's uh, you know I, I mean yeah, how many how many families uh, are you expecting to to outreach in this? You know, it, it it's going to grow, Vince. Every every uh, every season, um, you know, we're not going anywhere. We have, a, we have a ton of partnerships. One significantly is the five-year deal with Legacy Sports Complex. Uh, and if you play football at Legacy over the next five years, it will be through our league, which is super exciting. So right now in Arizona, um, we already have about 20,000 registered athletes. That's roughly 40,000 parents, um, let alone what we're going to be introducing in the tackle division. So, you know, we're going to be impacting and providing uh, opportunity for – you know, athletes to learn, develop, play football at a high competitive level and, um, you know, really change the map here in Arizona for the opportunities for our youth uh, across the valley uh, for them to be able to play football. Uh, one thing I'm really proud about, Vince, that we didn't get to talk about on the last show, but I want to bring it up that there has been so much um, interest uh, from our community leaders and the business owners here in town that we have now funded an Arizona scholarship program for leagues and organizations and players that play with us. Uh, so we're really excited to be able to benefit our community from our community. And uh, just another way to set us apart in partnerships such as you guys with what we have coming up with NYFCA TV. Super excited about that. And, I can't uh, wait. You know, just keep rolling here, man. I, I can't, can't wait. wait. It's going to so... be super exciting. Yeah, so so we'll have we'll have radio segments devoted to the league. Uh, parents and, and families can come here and listen to the show, find out what's going on. We'll have a, a we're, we'll be doing a, a, a TV uh, a YouTube program as well. Stay tuned on that. Um, we're going to be live streaming games. It's exciting stuff with our crew, and we're going to have a lot of fun with it. Uh, Jason Hirsch, Executive Director, National Youth Football and Cheer Association. You can get more information at www.nyfca.com. Jason, this is the, the beginning of uh, something that's going to be very special. Look forward to visiting with you repeatedly. Yeah, we do as well, Vince. And for anyone out there listening, our spring season is going to kick off uh, March 13th. So if you have any interest, we would love to uh, post you, your All right. families. And, Jason, uh, I, I apologize, Jason. I have to cut you off. We'll give the information coming back. We'll be back on the on the uh, Varsity Sports Show. Join us. Sorry, Jason. <laughs>